all right? Um, well, you know, anxiety, well, if, there's an, if there is um, self-sabotage and anxiety, remember that one of the things is uh, you can uh, use the Course in Miracles. Like if I'm, like self-sabotage might be I'm, I'm, I'm letting go of my food addiction and I just pick up cakes regularly. So that's the self-sabotage. So apart from, um, uh, you could use the Course of Miracles, place it into God's hands or God's light and love, but the, the real thing with that is um, I would use feel the feelings with anxiety and self-sabotage, i.e. not going into thoughts and just experiencing the energy out. Because remember, if you're sabotaging, it's coming from a level of consciousness. Like when you're in fear or a lot of negativity, like the, the ego will want to have a clever mental strategy to get out of sabotaging. But you really want to let go of repressed feelings. If you let go of the anxiety, uh, and also with, with um, wanting to sabotage, it's a craving, it's like an energy. Like if I want to pick up a donut, or if I want to pick up the phone to an ex-girlfriend, it's a craving energy that, you know, as you you know, oh, I want to pick up the alcohol, I want to pick up the phone to the girlfriend, oh, I want to pick up whatever it is. It's a craving energy. So rather than, like, try and get a mental strategy, it's like when the cra it's like sitting with the craving, you know. So rather than having a mental strategy to let go of sabotage, I would actually sit with the, the craving energy to sabotage and also the general anxiety and feelings. Because you're on a low, when you're on a low vibration, you'll naturally act out and, and do all the wrong destructive things because you're in, you're in a low energy field, vibration. So you're orchestrated by the field. When you're in fear, you tend to get fearful thoughts and do fearful actions. So you want to feel out the fear or the craving if you're in addiction to pick up the phone or pick up the alcohol or pick up the drugs. Feel that out and then you'll go on to the next higher vibration when you're not in that fear. And that will... When you're aligned with serenity or peace, that energy doesn't, act, doesn't want to sabotage because you're in the fields of grace. Most, most people, when they're in fear and anxiety or trauma, are looking for a mental strategy to, uh, to stop doing it, which is maybe has some use, but I'd be more on feeling out the vibration and the energy and the cravings and the general energy field because that would take you up to the next higher vibra vibratory field, and that field would protect you. Um, like we were talking in the group, people who meditate in the morning find that their whole day goes well. And that's because um, when you go to a higher vibration, it aligns you, uh, you're being orchestrated from a higher vibratory field. So all your actions and your thoughts come from that field. Whereas when you're in a, a, like a field of fear, uh, you know, trying to think cleverly is not usually the best option because you'll still be in the vibration of fear. So you'll still have fear-based thoughts and have fear-based actions. So sitting with the fear, feeling it out so you go to a higher vibration when you're feeling more serene will give you more serene thoughts and have less. So I'm more in, when you're in, dis in destruction and acting out, don't go to your thinking just allow yourself to experience the energies out. And if there's a specific thing that you do, like picking up donuts, picking up donuts or um, alcohol, or picking up the phone to an ex-partner that's not good for you, then just sit with that. As soon as you want to do it, don't do it. Sit with that energy until it passes each time. So if you do that, every time you want alcohol, you sit with it. Every time you want alcohol, you sit with it. Eventually, you won't want the alcohol. Every time you want to pick up the phone to an, ex, to an ex-lover who's bad for you, you sit with that until the, until the discomfort passes. Every time you do that, sit with it until the discomfort. Eventually you'll get to a state where you don't need to do it. You've gone through the withdrawal. You have sat out the attachment. You have sat out the craving. And then there'll be no sort of bonding, no, no desire, because you, you feel out uh, that destruction or that self-sabotage. Also, I, I just want to share this, just, you know, every time you try and let go of something that's bad for you or that's a self-sabotage, whether it be a drink, alcohol, or a person, 
every time you have a period away from it and then you pick up, you know, it'll, it can take you straight back to all the work you've done. You've got to like, you've got to like go through until you're through. And if it's something, otherwise you re, every time you pick up, you just, you just destroy all the hard work you've done. So you just have to not do that um, to get total freedom. And that's going to be good for you and it's going to be good for them and it's going to be good for the whole world. If you have these feelings of guilt, like I need to rescue them or it's good or something, um, the ego is attracted to destruction, death, uh, coming from addiction background, it's, it wants you dead. So it has an attraction to, to death. So by doing the opposite, <coughs> Um, you're going to be choosing life, even though it's going to be very difficult because it will rationalise, rationalise away. Okay.